50 years ago, when boxer Muhammad Ali refused to be drafted into the Vietnam War, he was only making a stand for what he believed in. What he didn't know is that it would pave the way for modern athletes to also be able to take political stands in the public eye. In the long run, the fact that he took the stance and held to it uh, and, and never backed down from it for the rest of his career began to inspire athletes to take public stances after Muhammad Ali. So you have a number of athletes beginning in the 70s and 80s beginning to actually talk publicly about issues, but you still have this inspiration behind everything of Muhammad Ali as this iconic figure uh, who then uh, inspires uh, athletes even if indirectly inspires a Colin Kaepernick or inspires uh, LeBron James or inspires other athletes uh, to speak out and to be willing to speak out. I think Kaepernick has been able to stay relevant by uh, lining himself with an issue that he uh, deeply cares about um, and also um, you know, aligning himself with an issue that is very topical right now, uh, especially with the news, uh, different stories that we've seen the last five to ten years about uh, police brutality, uh, police department reform, uh, and you know the ways the ways that different communities are uh, asking for more, or at least asking for an open dialogue with the people that uh, serve them and with the people that protect them. Uh, and I think that will definitely help keep uh, not only Kaepernick but Nike relevant for a while. I believe that athletes who are high up in their sport and well-known can certainly have a powerful voice and really be able to promote change not only in their sport but also to the general population. For example, Serena Williams is currently promoting gender equality and equal pay. Uh, so that just shows how powerful an athlete's voice can be. Ali's actions 50 years ago have caused a ripple effect that can still be seen today. For Annenberg Media, I'm Nick Kaufman.